This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Coming up on SSP TV News, Lisa Sugar talks with former Hazleton Mayor and United States Congressman Lou Barletta about a possible political comeback. Hi there everyone and thank you for watching. I'm Ken Cara and here's your local information. Former Luzerne County First Assistant District Attorney Sam Sanguidolce is now the new District Attorney in Luzerne County. Stephanie Salavantis stepped down from the position to run for Luzerne County Judge and there was some question as to how the county would replace her. Then Governor Tom Wolf signed a bill into law that requires vacated DA positions to be given to the first assistant district attorney. Sanguidolce started as the first assistant district attorney back in 2012. If you drive by City Hall in Hazleton, you'll notice some blue pinwheels. They were placed there for Child Abuse Awareness Month, which is coming up in April. Each pinwheel represents a child abused in Luzerne County last year. The pinwheels were placed by the Child Advocacy Center in Wilkesbury, state troopers, city officials, and police officers from Hazleton, Butler Township, Sugarloaf Township, and West Hazleton. According to a report in the Standard Speaker by Amanda Christman, there were 130 cases of child abuse in Hazleton last year. You can report child abuse by calling your local police department or the Pennsylvania Department of Human Services at 1-800-932-0313. A local man and familiar name to many in the community is thinking about a run for governor in Pennsylvania. Here's Lisa Sugar with today's news feature. A recent Susquehanna polling and research poll shows that former Congressman and former Hazleton Mayor Lou Barletta is the front runner for the Republican nomination for governor of Pennsylvania in 2022. With me now is the former Congressman to respond to this. So what's your reaction to this latest poll? Are you interested? Well, you know, the poll certainly has my attention. Um, you know, to see that so many people have recognized, uh, you know, some of the things, I, you know, I've always worked hard for the people of Pennsylvania, and, and it's good to see and encouraging to see in the poll that so many people agree. Uh, to be honest with you, it wasn't something that I originally thought about. Uh, however, you know, after what we've just been through with the crisis and the pandemic and seeing the way Governor Wolf has mishandled uh, the crisis and the direction he's taken Pennsylvania and it, it just isn't good. It's not, it's not what, what I think is, is good for the people of, of Pennsylvania. So it's pretty hard to sit back when, when we see a governor that's actually made, made the crisis worse than it's had to be. The small businesses and entrepreneurs uh, who have been hurt, you know, they may never recover, Lisa. I was, you know, I think back to my days when, when, when we started our business as an entrepreneur and the dreams that we had, to have them taken away uh, by a heavy-handed government um, is, is hard to watch. And, you know, I'm really concerned that, you know, what's happening not only here in Pennsylvania, but, but, but across the country where government is getting more and more power over people, telling you, you know, when you can go out, when you have to lock down in your house, what businesses, picking and choosing what businesses can open and close, uh, that's way too much power. And I'm concerned for Pennsylvania and for the people of Pennsylvania. So I am seriously uh, taking a look at running for governor. Um, I've gotten a lot of encouragement from people around the state and the poll uh, verifies that. Uh, so where I'm at right now is uh, talking to Mary Grace and, and, uh, and my daughters. It's a big commitment, as you know, uh, but we're going to take, I'm going to take a, a real serious look at it. And we were talking a little bit prior. Uh, I also asked you, would you be interested in running for Toomey seat for United States Senate? And your response? No, I'm pretty well done with Washington. Uh, you know, with what's going on there, I spent eight years uh, uh, in the House. Uh, you know, my, my background really, Lisa, was never as a legislator. You know, I, I had my own business, uh, which we grew. Uh, I was a mayor, uh, which I loved. Uh, that work. So I think being in an executive position uh, and having the ability and just the experience of, you know, things that I've did as a mayor and as a business person and be able to apply them to, to our Commonwealth. Uh, I think there's a lot of good that can be done. And 
Uh, it's exciting, what, you know, whether it's, you know, from keeping people safe to building playgrounds to economic development, um, you know, taking care of people, making sure they have work. That stuff lights a fire in me, and, and uh, it's hard to put it out, you know, and, and, and sit there and watch what's happening and think that, you know, I, I could help a lot of people if I got involved again. But, uh, you know, it's something, uh, you know, and to add to to everything that's happening, I think the nursing home scandal, uh, which I which I believe people only know a little bit about it yet. I think I think that's going to get worse here in Pennsylvania. What's happened here um, was is probably one of the last straws of of uh, for me of mismanagement. Um, you know, Governor Cuomo is not alone. I think I think we have a taste of that right here in Pennsylvania, and something has to change, and it has to change in Harrisburg. How soon would you have to make your decision uh, to get into the race? Because our primary for this year is, you know, coming up very shortly. So it'll only be a year away. Yeah, well, there's no, there's no real timeline that, that you need to follow. I, it's just something that uh, if I'm going to do it, um, I want to make up, make that decision soon because I'd want to get started and, and, uh, and begin uh, to, uh, you know, try to build support and see what kind of support we actually have around around the Commonwealth. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to put an own, my own uh, deadline on this, and I'm hoping to, to have that decision in the next couple of weeks. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, good luck in making your decision. And should you decide to run, uh, we look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you, Lisa. Good talking to you. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. Stop by Friday and Saturday nights for all-you-can-eat crab legs starting at 5 p.m. Also check out Frankie's new hours and their specials on their Facebook page. Time now for weather on SSPTV News. Here's our forecast from the National Weather Service on Friday. Showers and a possible thunderstorm high in the 60s. Friday night partly cloudy with a low around 40 degrees. Saturday is mostly sunny with a high in the 50s. Saturday night a chance of showers partly sunny with a low around 40 degrees. Sunday there's a chance of showers mostly cloudy with a high in the 50s. Sunday night a chance of showers mostly cloudy with a low in the 30s. Monday is mostly sunny with a high in the 40s and Monday night mostly clear with a low around 30 degrees. Coming up next, our community feature with Luzerne County CASA, court-appointed special advocates for children, and in sports, hear what Tamaqua area's Nate Wickersham had to say after taking home a bronze medal at the state wrestling championships. And in the SSP TV spotlight, the topic is orthopedics and COVID-19 as we feature a clip from the Dr. Mead Show. SSP TV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of these recently departed. Bonnie Riley of Hazleton, services will be private under the Lehman Gregory Funeral Home in Sawyersville. Martha Shabowski, age 92, of Hazel Township, Mass will be held on Friday at 10 a.m. at St. Mary's Ukrainian Catholic Church. Fred's will off Friday from 9.30 to 10 a.m. at the church. The Stanley and Lasky Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Keith D. Smith, age 50, of Whitehaven, a funeral service will be held on Saturday at 1 p.m. at the Lehman Family Funeral Home. Friends may call Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the funeral home. And Mary Storonko, age 94, of McAdoo, a funeral service will be held on Monday at 11 a.m. at the Damiano Funeral Home. Friends may call Monday from 10 to 11 a.m. at the funeral home. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.